Good morning, Hope Kids. I'm so happy that you are joining us today, uh, whether you're watching on our website, whether you're watching at your house, or whether you're here in the Hope Kids room. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I am not in the Hope Kids room today because I am speaking out in the big room to the adults. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about the last part of our series, Double Dog Dare. We've talked about so many different stories, but today I want us to talk about something in Genesis chapter 19, talking about how God saved a guy named Lot. So what we're going to do first is we're going to watch our story video, and then we'll come back. So don't forget to come back, and then we will talk about how this applies to us today. So let's watch this story video today. Faithful Hall of Fame, Abraham. So this is Abraham. Hey. Abraham had a nephew named Lot. He lived in the land of Jordan, which was near a city called Sodom. Unfortunately, the people who lived in Sodom did wicked things. God told Abraham that he was going to destroy the city of Sodom. Abraham pleaded with God for the people in Sodom. He asked God that if he could find at least 10 people that were not wicked, that God would promise not to destroy the city. God sent two angels to the city of Sodom. The angels searched for at least 10 people who were not sitting against God, but there were none. The angels told Lot that God was going to destroy the city. They told Lot to gather his family and leave the city. But Lot took a long time. He waited until it was almost too late. The angels grabbed their hands and pulled him and his family out of the city. They told Lot and his family to not turn back, but to keep going. Then God sent fire and it rained down on the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The whole city was destroyed. Lot's wife disobeyed the angels and turned around. She immediately became a pillar of salt. Lot and his family were safe because they obeyed and left with the angels. God showed mercy and kept Abraham's family safe. So we just saw in our video that this guy, Lot, was a holy man who loved God and his whole family loved God, but they lived in a place called Sodom and Gomorrah that was full of sin, and it was full of people who were doing bad things and disobeying God. Today, we're going to talk about our bottom line for our series, Double Dog Dare, and this bottom line is we can obey God by turning away from sin. We can obey God by turning away from sin. So what I want to talk about today is how Lot was able to not sin when everyone else around him was sinning. And what I want to do today is I just want to do one big illustration and then we will be done. I know, it's incredible. So Lot was able to turn away from his sin even though everyone else was still sinning because he was in a friendship with God. He was in a constant connection with God, almost like if you had a, a plug-in like for a, an Xbox or a PS5 or whatever you have or a laptop, and you have to plug it into the wall so that that thing can have power. That was like what Lot was doing. Lot was that thing and God was the power source to where he was always plugging in to God so that he would know God and be able to turn away from sin. See, everyone else in Sodom and Gomorrah was still sinning because they didn't know God. Everyone else was disobeying God because they didn't have a friendship with God. Now, we can have a friendship with God in a lot of different ways. We can be friends with Him and we can grow our friendship with Him by reading our Bible, by praying and talking to Him and listening to Him, and by coming to church, maybe like you're doing right now, either watching through YouTube or sitting in the Hope Kids big room. We can have a friendship with God in a lot of different ways. And the most beautiful, amazing thing about that friendship is, is that when we enter into an eternal, forever friendship with God, all of our sin is wiped away 
forever. So today I want to just illustrate that concept because of how important it is and because our bottom line is we can obey God by turning away from sin because in our life we have sin. Can you see this? Sin. And this sin is something that kind of stains our life almost like if you dropped food on a white t-shirt while you were eating and your mom has to go get stain remover. And so with this sin, we can take our erasers and we can try to erase it as best as we can. I really am putting it on here and it's not erasing. And we can try and try and try, but our sin is never going to go away. As long as you and I are trying to stop sinning by ourselves without the help of Jesus, we'll never be able to get rid of our sin. We'll be like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah who are always sinning and who will eventually be punished by God. But what God offers to us and what God did for Lot, in our story we see that God saves Lot from his sin. God helped Lot in a time where Lot was surrounded by people who were sinning and God saved Lot from his sin and rescued him out of that land. In the same way, God does something similar to us. God sent his son Jesus down to earth so that the sin in our life that couldn't be wiped away would be taken on by Jesus and because of that, our sin will be able to go away. So when Jesus came down to earth, he covered our sin in himself. And I know it might be hard for you to see this, but that's okay. You'll see it in just a second. He covered himself in, he covered us and our sin with his blood. And when Jesus came down and he died, then what happened is that when we believe in him, the sin that we once could not wipe away, the sin that is now covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, the sin that Jesus got rid of forever through his death on the cross and by being raised to life again on the third day, that very sin that we could never wipe away is now the very sin that God saves us from. And if I can get enough pressure, it'll erase. I know it's probably a terrible noise. And Jesus erases the sin from our life. What I want to do is I want to end today with a little passage in 1 John chapter 3. It's a New Testament book. It's a really small book, but 1 John chapter 3 verses 9 and 10. Those who are God's children will not keep on sinning. Those who believe in God will not go on sinning. That's because they are God's children. Here's how you can tell the difference between God's children and the devil's children. Anyone who doesn't do what is right isn't God's child, and anyone who doesn't love their brother or sister isn't God's child either. What God calls us to do when we become children of him through belief in Jesus is to do what is right, and that big thing that we do that is right is by having a friendship with Jesus, and we know God, but he also says that another big part of being in an eternal forever friendship with Jesus is that we love everyone around us. In this series of Double Dog Dare, we've dared you to do a lot of things. But this week and for the rest of our lives, I dare you to love God and love others, just like we have learned in this series. I encourage you to go read the story in Genesis chapter 19 and also to read that First John chapter 3 verse 9 passage today. I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I'll see you guys really soon.